In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to create a Facebook ad inside of GetResponse. And so we'll just go here within the Facebook ads area in the account, and we'll go to Create Ad. And just enter a name uh, for your ad campaign. This is only going to be seen inside of GetResponse. You can add it anything you want. Uh, I've got Black Friday on the mind, so I'm going to, you know, say I'm creating an ad for some Black Friday uh, deals waitlist that I'm going to be launching, and I want to generate some traffic uh, to a waitlist page that I've got going on. And so I've already actually got my uh, Facebook account connected, but if you edit the connection right here, you can see your options. Uh, and it also, if you have it set up uh, within your Facebook account settings, you can also have it uh, connect to your Instagram account as well. So you can actually run your ad both on your uh, Facebook and Instagram feeds. Uh, so this is the way you can actually be able to actually publish Facebook ads, so they're called both in your Facebook and Instagram feeds. So that's something that's handy as well. So we can save this because so our ad we're creating was run ago, is going to run both in Facebook and Instagram. And now we need to select the audience. So who should actually be seeing this ad? And so you've got a lot of really cool options here. And so if you want only existing contacts, so people who are currently on a particular get response list to see this ad, you could choose this option. But of course you have to have at least 100 contacts with that list. Another really cool way, this is a great option to help you kind of continue to build your list, is you can actually create a lookalike audi look -alike audience uh, based on a group similar to existing contacts in a list if you have at least 500. I think for my instance, uh, for this ad example, I'd like to use this one. But you can also set up a completely new audience uh, based on specific criteria that you would search for uh, and enter here. People liking your Facebook page. You can actually uh, target people who have actually liked uh, or people similar to people who have liked a p your page, which is a neat option. Another really cool option is website visitors. So you can actually target visitors to your landing pages like you can see. And so in particular, if you have get response pages, we automatically include what's called a Facebook pixel into those uh, Facebook page, excuse me, landing pages. And so you can actually target people who visit specific landing pages in your account or people who maybe visit a specific page but don't sign up. And so you could actually, you know, actually try to win them back or they're called retargeting ads. And there's a lot of strategy to go into choosing exactly which audience selection is the best for you. And so if you'll see here at the bottom, we actually have this post about Facebook ad design best practices. So it's on our blog post and it's an amazing resource that I hope everyone will check out because it gives you the pros and cons and uh, examples and reasons for why you might choose a particular uh, targeting option over another. So I definitely hope if you're new to uh, you know Facebook advertising, to social media advertising, that you check out this post. It's going to be a great resource for you whenever deciding your strategy on your audience for your ads. Uh, but for this for this uh, example, I'm going to choose a lookalike audience so I can grow my list uh, with new contacts based uh, on you know the kind of information or demographics of my existing contacts. And so I want to compare the new audience to this my first campaign and get response. It's got over 500, uh, but you can also choose if you want existing contacts in this audience in this list. Uh, to see this ad and I think it would be applicable as well in this instance where I'm kind of promoting a Black Friday wait list let's say. And so we just need to then kind of give some more information about the different audience characteristics that should be you know looked out for whatever presenting this ad. And so we can just choose for example you know they should be from the United States and perhaps they should be let's say in California. Let's pretend that my uh, Black Friday deals are going to be specific to residents or people in California, all genders, and you know at least 18 years old uh, at a particular age group. So let's just say this is my particular instance as well. And we'll click Save. And so we've got our audience selected as well. And now we need to set our budget. And so you can see, if you saw on the previous screen, uh, I did already have some uh, money set aside for this. Uh, I've topped up my account, let's say, and you do need to have, you know, a credit card uh, payment method uh, within your GetResponse account in order to run these ads, simply so that it, that's what would be charged. Uh, Facebook would, you know, charge for running the ad. And so you can see the total budget for the ad, minimum budgets and maximums, you know, how long that the ad should run based on your budget, 
just for one day, for two weeks specific. There also is more information as well in that blog post I mentioned, you know, on timing and strategy and that as well. So I can just say one week and I can just click save. And now we need to add the content. Now this is also a very important part uh, whenever setting up your ad. And again, I will reference this amazing blog post because it gives you lots of really good uh, instructions and tips and helps you actually figure out, for example, message introducing your ad. There's a headline, a button type, a description. And so in this actually post, if you'll excuse me while I just scroll quickly for a moment, you can actually see here, it tells you, this is message introducing your ad, headline, link description. And so this kind of little quick preview here kind of lets you know what goes to where whenever you're actually creating and inputting the content for it. And so I'll do one just so you can see what it looks like. So I've got my message. I'm going to upload a file that I've got. and then the link to the site that's being promoted. So whenever someone clicks on the button or clicks on the ad, where do you want them to go? So I've got a landing page I created in my GetResponse account specific for this kind of Black Friday waitlist I'm promoting. And so I've got my headline. And then I want this to actually be instead of a shop now, because it's actually, let's say, not Black Friday just yet, but I want people to actually start signing up uh, to join a wait list. So the button type should be a sign up. And then my description, so people can learn more about what's going on. So a nice thing is whenever you click Save here for your content, you're going to automatically see what it looks like. So let it generate for a moment, and there we go. So that's really cool. So you can actually see what it looks like on Facebook and what it looks like on Instagram. And for on Facebook, you can also see the mobile uh, preview as well, which I think is really important. So if something doesn't look quite right to you, uh, if you're not happy with something, you can just simply go back, click edit, and uh, you know change it up a little bit and be able to see how it looks. So this is a pretty cool option as well to see how you can, actually how your ad will be looking uh, before you click publish. So you could save and exit if you're not ready yet, or you can submit the ad. And then you just are waiting for Facebook to actually just go ahead, you know, and uh, review your ad. And then you'd be able to see within the different statuses here, whether it's completed, uh, the ad's been run, if it's a draft, uh, if it's failed for some reason, you can see, for example, you know, the actually source was too small uh, for an instance. But, you know, these are things that you'd be able to see and it would give you a reason why. And then you could go ahead and go and edit it and resubmit it and uh, change the audience uh, segmentation. So this is just a quick example using the uh, you know test data in my account. Uh, so no worries uh, on the failure, but this is standard uh, that Facebook will review your ad. And then whenever it is live and running, you will see a you know beautiful green button letting you know that your ad is live as well. And so this is super simple. So you'll be able to manage your uh, credits that you have, the budget that you have remaining, creating your ad here. Uh, and so you can see it's super fast and super simple uh, to actually go ahead and set up uh, Facebook ads inside of your GetResponse account and help you grow your list, help you make more sales, uh, you know, all in one place. So we hope you go ahead and get started and create some ads.